Kepler's Law of Planetary Motion are three governing laws describing the motion of the planet in the solar system. These laws were formulated by the German astronomer Johannes Kepler in the early 17th century. Working with the precise astronomical data collected by Tycho Brahe, Kepler explained how planets actually move around the Sun. These laws not only corrected the old circular orbit model of Copernicus, but also laid the foundation for Newton's law of gravitation. Let us talk about all the three laws one by one. First law. This law is also known as the law of ellipses. The path each planet follows around the sun is not a perfect circle, but an ellipse, which you can think of as a stretched circle. This is a picture of an ellipse. An ellipse has two special points called foci. For a planetary orbit, one of those foci is occupied by the sun. What that means in everyday terms is that when a planet revolves around a sun, it is sometimes a bit closer to the sun and sometimes a bit farther away, instead of staying at one fixed distance. Second law, this law is also known as the law of equal areas. If you draw an imaginary line from the sun to a planet and watch that line over an equal interval of time, the area it sweeps out is always the same for each equal time interval. For example, if in 10 seconds a planet moves from one point in its orbit to another, it sweeps out a certain area, say A1. Now, if the same planet is farther away and again takes 10 seconds to move between two points, the area swept by it, say A2, is exactly the same as A1. The practical consequence is that a planet does not travel at a constant speed. It moves faster when it is nearer the sun, because in the same time interval, distance covered is more and it is slower when it is farther away, just enough so that those area slices stay equal. Third law. This law is also known as the law of harmonies. It states that there is a simple mathematical relationship between how long a planet takes to complete one orbit and how far, on average, it stays from the sun. In simple terms, if T stands for the orbital period, which is the total time a planet takes to complete one full revolution around the sun, and R stands for the average distance of the planet from the sun measured as the semi-major axis of its elliptical path or this distance. So, the law says that the square of T is proportional to the cube of R. For example, Earth has T1 equal to one year and R1 equal to one unit distance from the Sun. Now, Jupiter is about five units away from the Sun, so its R2 is five. Thus, T1 square over T2 square equals R. 1 cube over r, 2 cube. Substituting the values, 1 square over t, 2 square, equals 1 cube over 5 cube, which gives t, 2, approximately 11 years. Because of this relationship, planets that are only moderately farther out from the sun take much longer to complete a single revolution of the sun. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.